Hello everyone, my name is Barrick, and welcome to Asylum Jam 2015, the playthrough. Um, Asylum Jam 2015 is a 48 hour game jam that was hosted on Game Jolt, and so I submitted my own game, so I'm going to be playing as many of these games as uh, I can. And uh, let's, uh, let's jump right into this one. I had a little bit of technical difficulty with my last one, so I made sure I was capturing the video footage from this one, and uh, I'll be a little more careful in the future. All right, this one's called An Evening at the Rabbit Eye Motel. Let's see what this is about. You wake up on a motel couch. Everything is quiet. It seems that your sister has left a note on the table beside you. My name is B, apparently. Hello, B. Okay. Do I, okay, click. Table. A note. Okay. Oh, is this, is this a typing game? Um, examine. Note. A note Ingrid left for you. It's scrawled on Rabbit Eye Motel stationery. Go to microwave. Now, help. Is there help? This support command can be found in a, a bridge dictionary practice game. Okay. Ah, look at that. There it is, right there. Let's take a look. I can look, I can look, I can read, I can say, I can go up, down, left, right. I can walk to a thing. I can wait. Wow, there's a little, there's there's like a lot of things. There's a lot. There's a lot. All right. Well, let's just uh, pop back into it here and continue on. All right. First, let's go to fridge. No. Go to mini fridge. Yeah, that's very specific. All right. Go to mini fridge. Or don't open mini fridge. I want to see what's in the mini fridge. Look at mini fridge. There's a lot of, there we go, there's a lot of soda inside. Surely nobody would mind if you take one. Take soda. Take it. Drink soda. Ah, refreshing. Ah, uh, let's see. Open upper cabinets. No. Look at upper cabinets. They're way too out of reach. Okay, let's look at lower cabinets then. Because we're so tiny. You look inside the cupboard. There's a knife. There's a roll of duct tape. Take knife. You retrieve the knife. Take duct tape. You retrieve the duct tape from the keyboard. Or for the cupboard. Cupboard. Watch TV. Watch, 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 watch TV. Go watch TV. Not much on this time of night. Oh, I like the music though. Mostly local advertisements with tacky jingles, but it's better than nothing. 30 minutes pass. Okay. What else can we do? Um, go right. All right, you know the room. The door creaks shut behind you. Go right. You can't go that way. Okay. Um, who was phone? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by was. <laughs> All right, let's take phone. Use phone. This thing only call last calls within the motel. Hmm. Um, and the phone is on the table. Answer phone. Before you utter a greeting, the caller cuts you off. Ah, um, oh, that is the thing. Some asshole's gone ransacked the gift shop. I need you down the front desk as soon as possible. They seem to be after your sister. The caller seems embarrassed. Ah, sorry, Missy. I didn't mean to wake you up. I thought it was calling my uh, assistant. Must have dialed the wrong room code. Oh well. Have a nice night. The caller hangs up. Hmm. I missed that first text. Uh, open wardrobe. Look at wardrobe. I guess that's it. This tack in has a weird hotel smell to it. It has a set of doors and a single drawer. Uh, okay. Ooh, is there a bed? Can I look at the bed? Look at bed. Do I want to look at the bed? I can't look at the bed. Go to bed. I can't even go to bed. All right. I love lamp. I'm not sure what you mean by love. I'm not sure what I mean either. All right, let's 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 look at the poster. Look at poster. It's from a film you don't recognize. Okay, let's just go left. Go left. All right, I'm, I've never been very good at these types of games. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, open curtains. The trees outside the edge of the farm. Oh, it's difficult to see very far. Go left. Let's see if we can get out of here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, 
pam how the hell do you spell pamphlet? Pam pamphlet pamp pamp holette. Pamp holette. Welcome! Situated 40 miles north of shit fuck nowhere! The Rabbit Eye Motel and Campground is a wonderfully scenic pit stop on whatever grand outback adventure you're embarked on. Blah blah, stick it in my ass. Looking for something to do? Why not check out Rabbit Eye's private lake? Follow a scenic five kilometer walk through beautiful Australian bush and be dazzled by nature's beauty. No fishing, no swimming, no photography. Management. Facilities, public shower blocks are available for campers not wishing to rent a room. All phones are equipped with a phone line uh, with a phone on an internal line. Dial other patrons by inputting their room number. If you are unsatisfied with your stay, dial the front desk before 3 a.m. for assistance. Hmm. Wow, I am studying that note hard. Okay, let's uh, look at the medicine cabinet. Let's see what kind of drugs. At first, yeah, oh, am I gonna have to type this all out? I don't know. First, look at. Oh my God. Look at cabinet. Well, that's not the right cabinet, but okay, that works. Series of pipes. The internet. A series of tubes. Take a shower. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Oh, black screen, fine. Well, that was nice, though the water pressure was a little weak. Did I, did I shower in my clothes? Or do I just not have any more clothes to wear? Look at mirror taunts you from its place upon the wall just above your head. Yes, it does. It taunts me. Does the toilet taunt me too? Um, use toilet. You don't need to go right now. Okay, well, let's go left. There's a wall. Okay, well, let's go right. Well, there's only like three places I can go here. Where am I going? Um, look at microwave. Oh. A microwave oven with a clock. All right, the phone in the bedroom is ringing again. All right, well, I'll go right. Go right. You enter the bedroom. Door creak shut behind you. Answer phone. Ingrid, it's Fitch. Got a bloke down here at the front desk who's had his bike stolen. Once again, call it your office. Seems to be the same person. But they don't give a shit, which is why I need you down here as soon as possible. They seem to be after your sister. It's a long, awkward silence on the other. As the other caller figures out what has happened. Uh, did I dial the wrong number again? Oh, what? I'm sure I got it right this time. You staying in 029? What the hell are you doing in Ingrid's room? Well, you are a sister, but does anybody need to know that? Fuck off! Oh, uh, that didn't work. Uh, I guess hang up. The caller cuts you off again. Sorry, little miss, but I gotta leave the desk for a while. I've got two separate robberies to deal with. Fun times. Don't answer the door for strangers now. Click. They hang up. I don't, I don't have a door. I have a door to the left. I have a door to the right. But I don't actually have a door to leave. Uh, let's go left again. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean again by again. I don't, I'm not sure what I mean either. I don't see anything going on here. Um, there's a note. Turn on lamp. Yay! Go right. Let's turn on the other end. Turn on lamp. No, I can't do I, I'm not allowed to turn that one on. Oh my gosh. Alright, look at window. Your work not hiding over the scene. It's too far up. Man, there's like nothing going on. I'm answering phones and I'm wandering back and forth between my bedroom and my bathroom. That isn't even mine. It's my sister's who is apparently not here and apparently works for the hotel or motel or whatever this is. Alright. Well, I think I'm just about done with this one because I'm not sure what's going on and what to do next. Like I said, I'm not very good with these games. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to check out my game, it is called Lost Tomb. And I uh, will catch you guys in the next video.